Oh, welcome back my uh, gardening friends. Well, this is uh, the greenhouse and after a few years of trying the uh, rain water gravity wick guttering system it's uh, certainly proved its worth uh, with the peppers this year and a few chilies last year we had uh, a bacterial wilt on the tomatoes and the peppers did good uh, there's been nothing added to the water and I haven't even fed them uh, at the moment uh, I'll use my homemade compost with a few little uh, goodies nothing that we've bought and uh, most things have done uh, really well uh, there's one of the uh, the wicks that's what the wicks look like I'm only using one wick this year and having it tapered like I was uh, told and overall uh, not too bad at all I'm just trying to find some labels um, can't pronounce that one so I presume that one's to there oh they're both the same so that's those um, wasn't sure whether we're supposed to let them go a different colour but that's gone a little bit mouldy now but uh, some of these peppers here which we're going to harvest today uh, have done uh, quite well and uh, the yellow monster so maybe they should go uh, yellow but uh, doesn't matter I didn't do any big uh, yellow labels for these uh, this is the uh, pepper king of the north there's uh, one up there uh, red skin uh, f1 again there's some there just gone a little bit moldy because we were leaving them till a little bit later these are the Joe long chilies uh, which aren't very long at all but when they're picked like that uh, they're uh, they're quite uh, quite tasty again these are the uh, next one the uh, geolong chili but they're very similar to that others but uh, they do grow a little bit longer but these are nowhere long enough at the moment unless there's one hiding I have took several off to try and uh, encourage others to grow again this one is uh, the same uh, not sure whether we can get into the corner the birds have been in here <clears throat> this is why I like to do the uh, big labels that's there I don't know whether I can actually see oh there is some in the back there but we'll get them out later uh, this one Another king of the north. Should have kept them to the same uh, containers. Uh, Palvik. This is why I do the big labels so we can actually uh, see them. And then this is the sweet Hungarian wax pepper, Amy, on this side doesn't see much difference between uh, the two shop bought red pepper on one side or the other and they got mixed up no they're both sweet peppers uh, I did buy a, um, another shop bought one but that doesn't look nothing like what uh, it did but these here are the ones that we've saved from seed before uh, just started to go there a little bit and it does look like they're overcrowded so they might uh, not be liking what we've done and then uh, oh the sweet Hungarian pepper there Amy I think that's what they're supposed to uh, look like uh, again I've left some too long uh, m far too many but I did try and grow as many uh, 
varieties as I could but the same varieties did well uh, during uh, the growth so we'll do a little harvest from these and uh, there's the sunflower high that's the one that uh, I bought in here to finish off that's the one we actually physically measured but again here you can see the uh, guttering I've had to top it up by hand because as you can see the tank went right down the plastic there is to stop the uh, wood chips drawing the moisture out of uh, the pots etc and I think I've just about got it to uh, suss now and there's the little float and uh, normally as the water level drops uh, it tops up and then when it's full it switches off and uh, it's worked quite well it's sunk in places and uh, there's the normal tap that goes on the uh, blue barrel but it has sunk a little bit in places so I may have to readjust it ready for uh, next year but I think I'll have some peppers in here but maybe stick to one pepper per pot so that we don't get this uh, overcrowding and uh, the rotting of some of the uh, fruits so let's put some in a basket and uh, we can take some to my mothers uh, and fathers for them to have as well there'll be far too many for me and, uh, it's just nice to be able to get up here and have a few hours instead of uh, just the odd hour now and again as my workload has uh, suddenly dropped well, we've been having a few now and again so now we've got uh, a really nice uh, selection there and uh, the ones that are just started to go a little bit we can cut out all the good and I think some of them uh, did dry out a little bit when the wick guttering system uh, run dry I haven't been up for a couple of days so never mind should keep it topped up he says especially when we've got uh, plenty of water now really pleased with that and I would highly recommend anyone uh, spend the time not so much the money in doing this the guttering was for free I think the little valve was about £4.50 and uh, we had a few connectors there but they're ready uh, available from your plumbing stations or from out of a skip if somebody's uh, dismantled something so just getting it level is uh, is is key and those uh, tubs that we found that the cannabis growers unscrupulously dumped with some compost have come very useful and they will be used in there again and uh, I'll just update you on the rest of the sunflower heads they are slowly being eaten by hopefully the birds and not the mice but they haven't found the ones in the greenhouse which I'm going to save the seeds for and try again uh, with this variety uh, next year I've got a few apples falling off so I'll get them picked up tonight and make uh, a, a bit of a stew conference pears are almost ready and I haven't had too many more go mouldy but they soon go mouldy once the bees sorry the wasps start attacking them and I've showed you before the wasps seem more interested in harvesting the sap off the uh, the leaves and uh, Mrs K enjoyed the mushroom tray full of plums and Mrs K now says the tree's got to stop I say it's got to go guess who won yeah Mrs K I must get the rest of these picked but um, the wasps aren't interested in the uh, plums this time but still have to be careful as we pick them because those young wasps are as bad as the big ones 
the autumn fruit in raspberries have enjoyed the uh, little bit of rain that we had and uh, this week I saw a man digging uh, out his uh, front garden into a skip so I've got a few bags of soil to add to the uh, green manure beds uh, there's a few of the green manure coming up now but the white fly are attacking them so hopefully they'll disappear but they won't I know they won't because we're uh, we're absolutely uh, played uh, with uh, the uh, green fly and the uh, the white fly unfortunately and uh, there's not a lot we can do if we don't want to use any chemicals the rats haven't found my sweet corn they've found many plot holders sweet corn so I'm going to be having a look at one of these to see whether they're worth uh, harvesting now before Mr Ratty gets them and it won't be long before we can uh, empty these uh, containers I'm going to turn them into uh, wick guttering systems and uh, lo and behold I was at the waste disposal tip uh, Monday one day anyway and uh, these two containers were in the general waste uh, items that couldn't be recycled so I puffed out my chest and asked whether I could recycle them and they said yes because they do take a lot of room up in the skip and it just goes straight to landfill so I've just got to remove all the brass and copper I'll save that and then we'll uh, cut the top out similar to this one maybe putting a support in if it starts to sway or splay out and uh, that will then fill all the barrels up bar from the one that we uh, use the watering can on so out of the four barrels we'll have uh, the uh, three containers sometimes uh, if you wait long enough you can get something and I can use the wick guttering straight on these straight into the barrels full length wicks right to the bottom and hopefully my carrots won't dry out because they do grow <coughs> a lot better when sown uh, in uh, in the ground and uh, I'm not going to reveal any of these yet but uh, I'm hoping that I can get three of these for the uh, Malvern uh, Autumn Show in the pavilion please remember thumbs up thumbs down for the interaction and uh, if you would like to consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my updates and everything else that I get up to on my channel my blog which I share and uh, my title always lets you know what it's about so you can watch what interests you happy gardening to you all Till next time, my friends. It's rough for now.